Monday meeting, 3 o'clock, Eric walked in and said, we're going to have a very unsettled week. Certainly has so been far. so far, right? <laughs> And everyone said, that guy, nah, I'm not listening to that guy, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the next couple of days, we are going to be talking about some ups and downs in the weather department. Yesterday, great start to the week. This morning, some downpours, and we got into the sun. Tomorrow, some sun, then some downpours. A lot of that give and take over the next few days. So here's a look at the radar tonight. Some clusters of storms out across western PA, and a few that have fired up around Long Island. And as these track their way eastward, they may just scrape Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket later on this evening. So that'll be something to keep an eye on. But most of us stay dry for the rest of tonight. We're looking at a big area of humid, hot air across the central and eastern U.S. And the boundary between that and your cooler air across Canada is where all these storms like to ride across, especially on the warm side. We had that first round this morning. Another one will work its way in tomorrow. Another one will work its way in on Thursday. Temperatures very warm. We're in the 70s and 80s, but it's not really the temp. It's the humidity. It's air you can wear. Dew points are in the 60s to low 70s. This really tropical air is going to be with us at least until Thursday morning before it begins to leave the region. So with the humid air, very mild night in the upper 60s, some areas of fog, a couple of clouds and light winds during the overnight time frame. Now tomorrow, another round of showers and downpours to track. In the morning, we could see a few fire up, especially across the south coast and the Cape. And most of the activity will be from midday through the afternoon and the evening. These are the types that are scattered about. It's going to be very warm, very humid outside. These are almost like Florida thunderstorms, so they just pop up in the heat of the day. They also won't be moving very quickly. So wherever we get one of these downpours, it's going to produce a lot of rain in a short amount of time. So the main issue for tomorrow will be for some areas of flash flooding on the roads. It's not in every town, but wherever one does develop, easily could get one to two inches of rain very quickly. So heavy rainfall is the main impact for tomorrow. A couple of damaging wind gusts possible, but it doesn't look like a big severe weather day. It's really all about the rain. Temperatures find a spot well up into the 80s tomorrow afternoon. It's getting very warm and very humid outside. So if you're heading to the beach, keep an eye to the sky. There will be some sunshine out there, but also some of these downpours and storms. So and keep a close eye on any changing conditions. Then on Thursday, another round of downpours and storms slides down along this front. But a change on Thursday. As that front moves south of New England, we're going to bring in some much cooler air during the afternoon and the evening. It's almost going to feel like autumn or spring outside across New Hampshire and Maine. And eventually that cool air moves down across southern New England by Thursday evening. In terms of our rain chances, it's kind of 50 50 scattered tomorrow. Thursday, it brings a more widespread chance of some downpours and storms. And then Friday, it looks like potentially another wet day as we end the week before we start to calm things down a little bit this weekend. So for the Cape, a scattered shower storm tomorrow. Thursday, a good chance for some storms, but the Cape is also one of the warmer spots on Thursday. Friday in the 60s with an onshore flow, and the humidity will fall back with the falling temperatures. By Thursday evening into Friday, definitely going to feel some relief. Friday's high, upper 60s. That's close to record territory for this time of year. Doesn't stick around for too long. The weekend, just an isolated shower storm each day and highs in the 80s. David and Lisa, back to you. All right. Thanks, Sarah.